Hello, I am Tilna Dimanta from OLS University of Sri Lanka and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to imitate the object oriented programming using C language. Okay, First of all I have created a structure called employee. Inside the structure employee I have defined few variables experience, basic salary, salary, JRA for name and function pointer. Okay and I have defined the type of structure employee as EMP and the type of and type of employee pointer as uppercase employee okay and I have defined two functions cal salary and cal salary double op okay cal salary method accepts an argument of type uppercase employee and cal salary double op method function accepts an argument of type integer okay and because of this cal salary method accepts an argument of type uppercase employee so uppercase employee is a structure employee type pointer so we can refer these variables using the uppercase employee argument okay so I am referring the experience variable experience inside the cal salary function so uh, you can see how I refer the experience so what I am trying to do is if the experience of an employee is greater than 15 years so his salary increased by 25,000 and else if his experience is greater than 10 years his salary is increased by 15,000 and if the experience of the employee is greater than 5 years salary is increased by 5,000 okay and finally returns the salary and you can see the cal salary double op function does the same job it does the calculate the salary of the employee but it takes the it takes the experience of the employee as an integer okay so in here what I'm trying to do is to create objects so to create objects I'm taking this struct employee as a class so I'm going to create employee type objects so in order to create objects I have defined a function called new employee so this new employee function accepts two, uh, two integer arguments experience and basic salary so you can see I used malloc function here in order to allocate the memory for newly creating object so in object oriented language like languages like Java the creation of object is nothing but allocation allocating the memory for newly creating objects so I am trying to do the same thing here so in here I am allocating the size of EMP size memory to the newly creating object so what is EMP? EMP is the type of struct employee so each and every time this method calls it creates an a memory it allocates a memory which can store a type a structure employee inside it okay and the newly created object is pointed by the uppercase employee type variable obj so if you can remember the employee is a pointer type of the structure employee so this is obj is also a pointer so the obj points to the newly created object okay so we can refer the newly created object using this obj variable so and using this obj variable we can access the newly created objects variable okay you can see how I refer those variables the newly created objects also includes 
the all the variables which I define inside the employee structure so I'm referring the basic salary OBJ basic salary and I'm assigning values for the basic salary and experience okay you can see how I refer these variables and how I assign the values for these variables okay and inside the structure I have defined a function pointer okay this is the function pointer so in here when I'm creating the object I, I am pointing this function pointer to the cal salary double op function and I am passing the experience argument from here okay and the our object is created and return the obj so this return the a, a pointer to the newly created object obj okay so you know the object oriented languages if we get the java java has the uh, uh, a facility called garbage collection so so it will automatically clear the objects that are no longer live okay but in c we don't have that facility so we have to remove manually the objects we created so to to remove and clear the memory i'm using pre function okay and i i uh, declared as destroyed employee destroy employee function so in this using this function we can destroy the object we created using use the new employee function okay so inside the main method I have created two objects of type employee okay you can see EMP1 and EMP2 and I have assigned the 14 for the experience of EMP1 employee EMP1 employee ex experience is 14 years and his basic salary is 2000 okay and the employee 2 experience is 7 years and basic salary is 1500 okay yeah, so you can see when I'm creating object I can pass the arguments so this is this is more like as the Java constructor okay so using the created two objects I have refer these variables of of those these two objects so this is more likely the dot operate the dot operation dot operator and call the variables of the objects okay so I am calling the basic salary variable of the EMP1 object and assigning that value into EMP1 salary and I am calling EMP the basic salary of EMP2 object like this is more much like as the dot operator so and I am assigning that value into EMP2 salary so as you can remember I have declared the cal salary that accepts argument in the type of employee okay so we can pass the newly created objects to the method EMP1 and EMP2 okay for from these two objects this cal salary method refer the objects experience and calculate what is the salary of that employee okay and the calculate two salaries are assigned to cal1 sorry emp1 cal salary and emp2 cal salary okay this is like the object reference of a method in java so i am printing the results employee one's basic salary that i referred here and emp2's basic salary i referred here and EMP1's calculated salary that calculated using the 
cal salary function and EMP tools cal salary value that I calculated using the cal salary function with the EMP2 object okay and that is a one way to refer the functions from the created objects so and there is another way okay so if you can remember I have declared a function pointer inside the employee okay so so in the when when I am creating the object I pointed the function pointer to the cal salary double op function and I pass the experience argument from the argument list okay so I also can refer the functions using this way so I have created the calculate salary pointer inside the structure and using that pointer I pointed it to the cal salary double op function and using that function pointer I am referring the cal salary double op function of this EMP1 object okay so EMP ones cal salary so it, this will calculate the salary for the EM, EM employee one object and it will display it will assign the value is assigned to the EMP one cal salary variable so I am displaying the same value calculated using the cal salary double op function okay and I use two functions because I wanted to show you there are many ways to refer the functions from the objects okay so uh, we almost done our program and the after all we have to destroy the objects we have created so we are clearing the EMP1 and EMP2 objects and uh, we are done with our program and let's compile this okay and uh, I compiled I have compiled the program and here is the output uh, okay you can see the calculated salary using two functions does the same job but in two ways and the referred basic salary values and uh, so I'm I hope that uh, you have some idea about uh, memory allocation pointers and uh, how to imitate object oriented program using C language okay uh, wish you all the best